All right, it's back on the uh, horse today. And uh, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get down here today. It's going to be tomorrow that I'm not going to be able to get down here. But <sighs> it's just the way the cookie crumbles this week and uh, a little bit of next week. Probably a lot next week because i got to start moving molds from where I've got it stored now to uh, my storage unit. So I've got to get that all rearranged. All right, let's get busy today on this uh, cowboy. Time to play with some clay. I'm gonna put a vest on him, but I gotta get the sleeve going here. And uh, this dark thing here, that's the uh, wire armature pushing through the uh, clay. And uh, it doesn't make it easy to work with when the uh, wire is right there. But that's what happens sometimes. By the way, pants, back in the 1800s, people wore pants higher on their uh, waist. Uh, I remember once I was, you know, and they actually wore pants kind of high, even up until the 60s. Uh, I remember I was showing at Caesars at Ta in Tahoe at the casino there, and uh, George Burns, I, I know you probably don't know who that is. Uh, some of you older folks can, will know who I'm talking about. Uh, George Burns was uh, putting on a show there, and uh, we had to, uh, I was, the gallery that I was showing with was asked to uh, place some artwork, some paintings in the uh, gallery, in his dressing room, and uh, the gallery owner asked me if I wanted to go up with him, and I said, yeah. <laughs> anyway, he got, went up to his room to put a couple, hang a couple of paintings in his room. And on his dressing table was a, an old cigarette, a cigar that he'd been smoking, and it was sitting in the uh, ashtray. I wish now that I had grabbed that cigar, because that would have been a keepsake uh, of George Burns, who... George Burns and Gracie Allens were big in the 40s and the 50s. And uh, they had a show on TV back when TV first started. It's called the George Burns and Gracie Allen Show or something like that. Funny, funny couple. His wife was just so beautiful. And they made such a good comedy team. And uh, she passed away before he did and uh so he uh performed without her for quite a few years to continue my story about george burns we went into his room and was uh hanging paintings and uh he had his uh tuxedo that he wore during his uh show and it was hanging in the closet and he had one white shirt and he was a real small guy not very tall and uh his uh shirt was wrinkled where his pants where it was tucked into his pants 
It was wrinkled all the way up to his chest. That's how high pants used to be worn. They used to have suspenders on them. <clears throat> and uh, this wrinkling that I just did here is because the old uh, pants, and I can't remember the name of the uh, type of pants they were, but they had a, a kind of a belt in the back uh, that they could cinch up on the pants, and that would be, uh, would make one size fit all. And you had to more than likely roll your, your legs, your pants legs up, because uh, they weren't tailored back then. You couldn't get tailored clothes like you can now. You couldn't get a particular size uh, pair of pants or shirts. Uh, everything had to be tailored because they didn't have that uh, back then. Anyway, that's a little bit of the history of that I've grown up and seen. I can remember everybody wore suits back in the 50s when I was a kid. And I can remember the smell of some of those suits because they would be dry cleaned, but they would always have kind of a body odor smell to them. And uh, they were heavy into colognes like uh, Old Spice. My dad used Old Spice cologne back then. I really hated that smell. <laughs> I really did. Anyway. Yeah, I can... The 50s uh, were an interesting period of time. It was... Uh, in fact, girls, when I went to school, wore skirts. They never wore Levi's. And uh, I freaked out the first time I saw a girl that I had feelings for when I came back from boot camp and she was moving into an apartment with a friend of hers in Salt Lake and uh, she was wearing Levi's and cowboy boots and I freaked out because uh, I had never seen a girl in Levi's up until that point and uh, I thought she looked a little too manly with them on but but anyway <laughs> It's funny how styles change. Okay, I'm putting wrinkles in the back of his pants here. Yeah, I've seen a lot of changes. The first jet planes, the... You know, we... I lived in Guam with my dad and mom and family because he was stationed in, on Guam back in 56. And we flew to Guam on a, well, actually we spent two weeks on a uh, Navy transport ship all the way out to uh, Guam. And I learned how to overcome seasickness on that ship. Um, but I didn't eat much because I was always, my brother and I, just, we just never ate because we were both constantly sick. But uh, I can remember the ocean, how vast it was and how small we felt. Um, just amazing. And then when we came back from Guam, back to the States two years later, uh, we flew on a four prop plane that looked like a DC-10 World War II plane and uh, we spent two days coming back home and just before we landed one of the props uh, stopped working and we were all a little nervous but boy the lunches and the dinners that they served on that plane were just amazing just their fried chicken box of fried chicken several pieces of fried chicken and good fried chicken too 
but we had to wear life vests all the time while we were tr crossing the ocean. We had a midpoint landing on Hawaii, and we were only there for about an hour or so while they uh, refueled and uh, loaded new passengers and unloaded some. Guam was an interesting place to live. All right, I'm going to put a pocket on here. They have a pocket for carrying tools like something to clean the hoof of the horse or something to, uh, you know, maybe a little tool or something here or there. And uh, I'm going to put the uh, flap on the uh, pocket. Okay, it's time to do the boot on this foot. I'm thinking about putting tapaderos on the stirrups. And uh, what that is, uh, is a leather covering that uh, protected uh, the feet uh, from, you know, scrub and bushes and stuff like that as they rode through uh, the prairie, and especially in the southwest. And, uh, it just protection against, uh, the foot on, or the foot, I mean. I think I'm going to put that down behind there because that would react to its foot going backwards against the uh, bedroll or the uh, rain slicker that he's got on his saddle. Well, it's starting to come together. I'm going to have to call it quits. I, uh... So. Alright, everybody. Good night. See you next time. I don't think I'll be here tomorrow. Probably next Tuesday will be when I'm in. Um, I don't know. Next week's going to be iffy because I've got to maybe move my, uh, molds next week. But I don't know when that's going to be. All right, everybody, good night, and uh, have a great weekend. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video, 
it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.